Well, while the Prime Minister has linked the vigils to a rise in cases, health experts have not yet made that link. But what does the data show? Colleen Hossein takes a look, a closer look at what happened. Kamal, it's always a question of where did the latest surge of COVID-19 come from every time cases spike? So let's take a look from the start of phase two in 2020, breaking down the surges of cases. Now it should be noted that these graphs are the epidemiology graphs, meaning these are the days where the cases were actually recorded and not batch reported as we usually see in the daily Ministry of Health update. Now these red lines here and here indicate the two to 14 day incubation period for COVID-19, where cases that do occur after an event should be recorded. Now during the latter half of 2020, TNT experienced two spikes. One after the general election, where lots of rallies occurred and little mask wearing. Now, and there was another spike in November, and that was due to a prison outbreak. Then we had Christmas. Public health regulations were in effect, but the slight uptick in cases in January 2021 were attributed to clusters from house gatherings and parties. Now, by the beginning of February 2021, came news of Andrea Barrett's kidnapping and then murder. Though Andrea Barrett's funeral was held on February 12th and the vigils continued until for the February 14th, over 100 vigils were held in her honor. Now these vigils were, were held outdoor and to occur, organizers had to seek permission from the commissioner of police and COVID-19 protocols had to be followed. Epidemiologists were wary as COVID-19 could have still spread. We are hoping that we don't see an increase in transmission as a result of these gatherings. The only time will tell. During the period in February 2021, where we would have seen cases recorded, while the rolling seven-day average here were the lowest for 2021 and with three to four cases per day. In fact, several days for that month recorded no cases. However, February 21st, the ministry rolled back restrictions, allowing recreational sports teams to play. According to the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Roshan Parasram, 14 days after the relaxation of recreational sports, we started to see cases rise in March, prompting officials to restrict recreational sports again on March 18th. Now this spread continued into April and that's when Easter happened. Now whether it's 25,000 or 50,000 people traveling, there was significant travel within Trinidad, Trinidad to Tobago and back. And as you can see, cases exploded. So what is the cause according to Dr. Hines? The other driving factor would have been the large congregations that would have occurred two weeks ago around the Easter period that we're now seeing the effects of as this week's figures roll out. Let's take a look at Tobago's numbers, where there were few vigils but lots of movement. Now this is the island's active case graph for the entire pandemic. There were spikes post-election through October and then another surge in December into January due to Christmas and travel. Now there were few to no cases for much of February and remember vigils occurred early this, that month. So cases from the vigils would have appeared later that month. Now from the latter half of March, it's been an upward climb in cases with a record daily high of 42 cases reported on the island just in the last 24 hours. Back to you, Kamal.